<clears throat> Back up to the From one blue north. Jays way in Toronto, welcome to Rogers Center. The Rogers show Center. brings you game one of a big four game set. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Who is it kind of, you know, it's John Cena versus Jose Ramirez. So Jose just Ramirez about set now. Today's right starting now. pitcher. Max Freed, what should we keep an eye on here? That lead off, not over 3 a and ERA, and just and over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Ready to go? Digging in, it's the speedy Leading outfielder, the Colt Cleveland. Carter. The center fielder, number 22. Deuce, deuce, pocket, and the pocket, bow. And it's fouled away. Hmm. Well, last game I took a perfect pitch on the first pitch. pitch. Or not last game, the game before. That and one missed. Like, well, he's so he's great about hitting pitch. the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside play. Coverage. Oh, fuck. Out to center, and that is Springer. Makes the grab. Mm -hmm. One up, one down. Here's Vladimir that Guerrero Jr., the first baseman. Vladimir. Vlad. Guerrero. Jr. Here's the yard on the chest. Here's the 0 2. Nope. Line drive. That's a base hit. Lopez around third. The throw home. And he's in there as they jump ahead and run scores. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Mitch was on the outside. <laughs> and up next for Cleveland, Colt Carter. He's all for one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Oh, next sure. pitch is popped up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Down to the bottom of the second. Blue Jays two, and the Guardians one. Back now in Toronto, here's Jared Kelvin. The designated hitter. Jared Kelvin. That's out to center field. Carter settles underneath it. And there's one away. Batting seven. The center fielder. And the batter is George Springer. Yeah, I would wear these. One down, base is empty. Every. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Carter should have this one. And a couple of quick outs. Batting eight. The left fielder. Colt Carter will hit next. The center fielder. Cool. You know, singing this.
is true. Max Fried, the night before his starts, will sit down and take his scouting report and play MLB the show to see how his pitches work against the other team. That's pretty impressive right there. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Grounded out his first time. He'll won. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He makes the grab two away. Two outs, nobody on. Christian Arroyo next up for the Blue Jays. Grounded out his first time up. Out there to center. Carter settles under this one. And he makes the catch. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And this game is still tied. At so in now for now Cleveland, Cole Carter. Carter. Cole Carter. Hey, let her fly, let her fly right here. Damn, that dude really doesn't like him. Hit high in the air. Ooh, there he right. goes. See ya. First pitch slanging. For number 20 on the year. Give me that low inside. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number 20 on the year. And the Guardians jump in front. It's 3-2. Yeah. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Right over the... Base is empty with two away. Here's Christian okay. Arroyo. Now batting. Christian Arroyo. The tying run the at the plate. In the air out to center. Carter has a beat on it. Brings it in. And the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail it. 3 2. Another AB. Hey, I'm betting it off. I think. Can you get on the can? And now the center fielder, the Colt Carter. Carter. The center fielder. Hit an absolute Colt. tape measure shot Carter. last time up. That's John McCain. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, have a rip at it up there, huh? And a pitch. That's the third. Ooh, either, 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 either. But it kicks off his glove. See. Gets it there in time, no though. Way. And even with his speed, they get the out. The left field, seven. Miles Straw. Both is shut up to the dish. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The 0 1. Oh, Missed no. to center field. Carter gives chase. Long run. Oh, he dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Save. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep. And I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not. But off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And that's ripped for a base hit. Bichette around third and headed home. He'll score in the tie. It's 3 all. Huge moment for him and his team, dude. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight. Stepping in, Jared Kelman. And, Boog, I'd say he's due. And the righty deals. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is the inning. So they can't push across the winning run, and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner, so we are off to extra innings. All tied up at three apiece. 
Here's the third baseman, now Christian Arroyo. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy oh, oh, yeah. from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And that one is lifted in the air. In there, that'll do it. Across is the winning run, and the Blue Jays walk it off in extra innings. Fans are quite a line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Four runs on five hits. No errors. They left four men on the From inside Rogers Center. Ready to go now. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Colt Carter. Colt Carter. And he deals. That misses the zone. And we're underway. That's a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Let's fly, let's fly right here. And a ball and two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there. Here's Chris Bryant now. Payoff pitch. This one in the air center field. Carter makes the grab one down. Nobody, nobody. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Not shortstop. Righty delivers. In the air center field. Makes the grab, two down. Cut it, cut it. Hold it, hold it. Batting four. Here's Christian Arroyo. Here's a 1 1. Out towards right center field. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. Batting nine. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. Number 28 had the day off yesterday. Right hander kicks deals. Into center and a base hit. Lead runner around second. On to the third inning. And now Colt Carter. The pitch and a swing and a miss. Carter in his second season hitting leadoff in today's game and he's a former rookie of the year. Next pitch inside and one and one. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado but he played his college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft. Made his debut at 22 years old in 2013 and he has gotten himself through a lot got him swinging slider got him for a strike three here's the center fielder Colt Carter who's over two with a pair of strikeouts and he bunts but that's a foul ball Come on, let him fly, let the pitch let him fly. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. And that one is out of here. He leaves the yard to right. And they add a couple more. It's 5-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot.
it's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough. Up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now, the first one for game. two. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's towards center. Carter under it. Makes the catch for the out. So I think a one, two, three here. You know will be very very on that one. Side for him and his team. Runner at first with two away. Here's Jerry Kelnick. And, uh, back to food. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, and that'll do it. Uh, Blue Jays held in check. And the score like remains a six pitcher jacket or whatever. Maybe jacket. Is he hurt? Is he not in the lineup? There is. Very curious. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping up for the Guardians, Colt Carter. The pitch. Oh. You know, these Guardians, simply so put, excited. are producing a lot of quality pitch. swings. Everything Don't seems to be clicking, me. and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you Fuck, need to know. I did it again. They're not getting fooled up there at all. I waited even a little, just a little bit longer. I was just very early. <laughs> one, huh? Righty to the plate. Damn. There's a swing and a drive. Kiermaier going back on this one. Back Fucking some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track. Christian Arroyo next up for the Blue Jays. Arroyo. Center field. Carter gets there. He's under it. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but now a competitor like him, oh, he is looking right forward there. to make it up for it in his next at bat. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Colt Carter. He had a big swing back in the fourth, a two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boo. Poetry in motion, and those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. In that there, and it's on one. Go ball, one straight. All right, one time, right here. And a pitch. And a foul Damn. ball. Stay back, son. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. <laughs> Slider got him. For... And now it's Dalton Varsho. He's 0 for 1. They lost him first. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The bad out. The third baseman. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now here is number 28. Me. Into center. Carter drifts towards it. And there's one down. Yeah, multiple. This is one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now better. This one finishes with a final of seven to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight. First for the victorious Cleveland Guardians, seven runs on. One down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One for four with a double in the ball game last night. The 0-1. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Carter moving under it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Batting good. The designated hitters. Get there. First and second. Two outs. 
Here's Jared Kelnick. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Carter makes the grab. That is the inning. We move to the second in Toronto. No score. So digging in, Colt fit. Carter the went field. deep in the ball game Colt last night. Carter. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. And that one is inside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Next pitch is inside. Ball three. And the right-hander deals. No score here in the second. And that's, that's ball four. four. Thank you, mate. One of the things about that two out walk the base runner that over at that first that base is going to have a right very field. aggressive secondary Ramon. lead. So ball down the line Boyano. or into the gap Get will back. produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Drive that pitch now eh. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here you go. Again to first. And once again, he's back in safely. Another check to first. And he's safe again. Uncle. Here's Ramon Laureano. Up the middle. Sends it to first. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. One left for the Guardians. We'll go to the bottom. We go to the top of the fifth. So in now for Cleveland, Colt Carter. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next one is off the plate, and now 2-0. and oh. Hogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. In for a strike, now 3-1. and one. In for a strike, counts full, three and two. Kicks and fires. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about Love that. that nice line drive to the side, it out top front, notch shit, seven pitches. Nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Corner, corner scoring for a position double. now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Loriano comes up to hit, grounded out his first time. Way high. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Barrios picks oh, over. Right. Carter back in on a dive. Barrios. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. The 1-0. -oh. 
And that's in there at the knees. Carter at second with nobody out. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Next offering misses down and away. Bounce to the right. Can't field it cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense. Two outs. Runner on first. Here's a speed threat. Colt to Carter. Carter. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Nice. Back to the top now of the lineup, Kevin Kiermeyer. Next up for the Blue Jays. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll get down for a hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Pretty good fastball location, down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it. Hit it hard, very tough spot to get the ball to most of the time. Colt Carter digs in for the Guardians. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Playing well, playing well. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball there. goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Hey, let's go. Now one the pitch. Mm. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Full oh. extension makes the catch. We refer to third Fuck base as the hot man. corner, but that one was a hot one on the other side of the diamond. Nice job, quickly leaving the ground, makes the catch, and that ends Just the no end. Look. Whatever, dude. Welcome back, and here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. He's already homered here in this one. Out to center. Carter under it. And that is that. Get one left. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. Nice job. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a Thursday matinee on the show. Thursday net. And, so uh, two down. Colt Carter getting ready to hit. And Cleveland on top once in. And first oh. offering is fouled off. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Oh my Slice God! Two down the right pitches. side. You're gonna make another diving catch. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's gonna have to find. way to get some weak contact maybe a swing and miss get into that dugout and hit the reset button that's off the mark one and two to count well they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now Ooh. here's a rip to no short way. but he's there for Ooh, the third out yeah. that one was ticking no. in for the gap but couldn't get through security great job there of leaping making the catch and ending the inning
So runner at second two down. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now one for four with a double in yesterday's game. Fly ball center field. Carter makes his way towards it. Can't get their base hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's 1-1. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. One gone runner at first, no left and now it's Dalton Varsho. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Line drive. Two, two. Carter snags it for the second out. Digging in, it's now the speedy out. outfielder, Colt fielder. Carter. Colt. 0 for 1 so far. Carter. Carter measures 6 feet 2 hey, inches, right 205 pounds, and he's the reigning American League Rookie of the Year. Fires over to Guerrero. And that's an out. Back here at Rogers Sorry, Center, guys. top of the He's sixth first. inning. And so stepping in is the speedy Colt Carter. Carter. Hey, get a good one. Get a good rip on it, huh? And here it comes. Now a pop up on the infield. Guerrero calls it in, and there's one away. Here's Jared Kelvin. <laughs> Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitchers. Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. Oh, come on. And they get it go? in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Well, a swing like that can help. Now Colt that. Carter the digs in for the Guardians. Cool. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like... Everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Yep. Hammer could be extra bases. He got it, round it. Around it. third. One runs in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The relay not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I love the hustle out of the box. Man, he drove that baseball, and he was thinking triple right away. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Zach Pop. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Here's Ramon Lord. Good old Zach Pop. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The tying run at the plate. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Carter under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Toronto. They trail it here. Six to four. Colt Carter digs in now. A chance Up for more damage play. right here. A couple of RBIs hey, here for here him go. in his last A-B. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And they walked me. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Well, he gets to balls that get by. And yeah, the batter now, Jared Kellner, one for three. The 0-1. And that one lifted in the air center field. Mm. And that'll do it. The Guardians take the finale here. They win the series three games to one. This is a huge win. Take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good hey, momentum. At home, you also have a higher expectation to play with. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. Not bad, not bad. I officially have more walks this year than last year. And I'll be back for lunch. Me and my homies down bad like we had a hunch. And I'm a critic cunch. And we ain't got no lunch. And now we eat.
And if anybody was wondering why I'm, da- I'm shit talking Kiermaier so much, it's because of this right here. I have 353 putouts. He only has a buck 95, but he has eight assists. I only have two. What? How's this arm? Christ! No wonder he has so many fucking putouts or er, assists. Look at my bitch ass arm, my noodle ass arm. 59. Sitting on an 87. Slut. A whore. And then silver slug it all. Here I'm doing the league leaders. If I finish above 300, I'll be pretty, pretty happy. What was that last year? 279. Finish the year pretty piss poor. Buck 23 in hits. Doubles. Five triples. Just hit one of my last game. I went to Toronto with, I think, 18 home runs. Left with 21. Pretty good. Pretty good. Almost catching up to the team leader, Joe Jaron Duran, who I, I saw in the he plays for the Red Sox right now in real life. And Good looking cat. Doesn't look anything like that though. And I mean, they clearly didn't face scan him, which I feel bad for him. But tenth in ribbies. What was that in home runs? Fifteen. Tied for fourteen. Runs. I don't. I, I don't have a lot of runs because when they put me in the lineup, everybody sucks at me, kind of. Smoking people in stone bases. Nobody's even close. Especially in the North National League. That's my OBF. OBP, or not OBF. A336. That's crazy. He's, his batting average is 236, but he's on base. He's, 334, 49 walks. Dude knows how to draw a walk. Oh, I have more walks than I did last year. There we go. Where's Boar? Wow. Six and War. Nice. 